So you were looking at a Subaru Forester install that we did, and the customer brought us this car to do something that he could show off either at a car show, cars and coffee, uh, but still remain practical. So the direction that I went with this one is I built a tray floor, which you see here. And you know, the opposite of a tray ceiling, but a tray floor. Uh, we have a riser here out of, it's basically stacked material, polyprimed, and then painted silver. The interior accents that you can see up there inside the car is silver, matte black, uh, obviously the vinyl, what you see on the seats. So we decided to mirror that with all the materials that we chose. And so we have the silver here, we have the black vinyl here, and then we have the carpet here. And lighting is kind of bad, but you can see there's a Subaru emblem that is embossed into the top of the floor to give it that, you know, factory feel and just a, another layer of detail to add to the trunk. And when you remove this here, which would be the floor, you have your amps. Uh, he brought us these amps he had left over from a previous install. Two original JL Slash amps. We have a 501 and we have a 304. And looking at how it's trimmed out, we actually have obviously the amplifier here. We have a layer of black acrylic, half inch clear acrylic, and then we have a quarter inch acrylic that's painted silver, quarter inch acrylic that is painted black, matte black, to give you all the different layers of trim. And uh, I really liked, uh, from a design standpoint, keeping this top layer of acrylic clear. That way you can see down to the black. It gives it some depth. And the, the edges is, is lit. Um, so there's LEDs, which you can see in the picture, right here underneath the panel. And since this edge here is sanded, it is lighting up just this edge, which gives it a pretty cool look because it looks like the, the lights are coming from nowhere. And uh, again, we have the all the different layers here, five layers just from here down, and then layer six, seven, eight. So from the top of the floor all the way down to the amp, we have eight layers of material, which gives it a really cool uh, dimension. And uh, that's the entire floor there. And then again, we have the panel here. Both sides are finished off in carpet. And it just sits right back into place here to hide everything so we can still put uh, you know, groceries or whatever he's gonna carry back here and still have that in the back. Uh, as for the subwoofer enclosure, we used uh, two 10-inch JL Audio TW3. Uh, love these subs. Not a whole lot of depth behind them. There is a shallow mount sub and they sound very, very good. So, when you look at the panel here, we have silver. Uh, this is a piece of half inch acrylic. And then we have a press grill onto that piece of acrylic. So looking at it from the side, it's basically even with that trim ring. That then attaches to the main black panel here. And then over here, we have again, the silver. We have the black acrylic gloss black acrylic and then we have a layer of red trim all the way back that is sit flush with the face of the enclosure that is just offering that little bit of contrast that little bit of a uh, pop to the different layers so on here we have layer one two three and four with the with the enclosure itself and again we have the the mirrored enclosure here on the other side so again, looking at it from all the way out here, it's it's very practical. It only takes takes uh, I'd say maybe four inches 
of space coming out from the side itself. The seats still fold all the way down. So you can fold them down and still have a full pass through if you're gonna haul something big. So again, functionality and practicality was the main focus on this install here. The Kenwood 893 was a radio that we installed and uh, you can see here, we did a Subaru boot logo just to make it feel a little bit more factory again. Uh, that Those little touches are really gonna be what makes it feel OEM and like it belongs into the car. So, yeah, I was really happy with how this whole thing turned out. I think the, uh, the different layers, that black acrylic just really makes it look sharp. Having that second um, transition point that comes from the bottom and goes all the way to the top of the subwoofer grill just really makes it look cool. And uh, as you can see here, follows the factory line all the way down. Still get to these hooks back here. So, yeah, that's it. And uh, the red was something that he really wanted. Obviously, there is no red on the inside, but there's this splash of red on the wheel itself, this just small line of red. So that's why we added that small line of red there into the enclosure itself. And uh, he's changed some of his badging around to, to red. Um, so he really likes the red theme. That's why we did the red lights. And again, the red little band um, around the enclosure. So, but yeah, JL, great products. Love the TW3s. Always a go-to sub for when you need something with a shallow, mounting depth and uh yeah if you have any questions or want to get something built by me or us here at safe and sound you can contact me my information is in the description below email phone number all that stuff is down there so again thanks guys for watching